Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Okay, in this one I'm doing a mixed media painting and it's of a scene that I've painted many times. It's Clyde Windmill in Norfolk. Um, I haven't painted this one for a long time um, and I was asked by one of my Patreon members if I'd do this one again. So I thought well this would be a great opportunity to do it because I'm testing out some new paper uh, and some new gouache paint. And I will be doing a full review of both the paper and the gouache paints um, in the next video which will be coming very shortly so look out for that one okay so I'm not starting out um, with gouache I'm actually starting out with watercolor for this one I'm basically doing more or less a 90% complete watercolor painting um, to start with and I shall go over the top um, with the gouache paints so essentially what I'm doing is is two paintings in one um, and the reason that I'm doing that is because um, this is going to be a full lesson over on my Patreon page and I thought well if I do it as more or less a completed watercolour people can follow along with that um, and do the painting as a watercolour um, or if they want to follow along and take it to the next stage and turn it into a mixed media painting and use gouache um, that option is available there as well. Now the last time that I painted this picture was several years ago um, there is actually a YouTube video of it um, somewhere <laughs> just have a look down my channel I'm sure you'll find it um, and the last time I done it I think I done it on a quarter imperial um, sheet of paper which is I think it's 15 by 11 which is more or less A3 size um, and the paper that I'm using today for this is only A5 um, and there's quite a lot of detail to get in on this scene um, so I'm having to revert to the very small detail brushes and everything for this one now there are a couple more reasons actually um, why I decided to do this one um, first as a watercolour and then second as a gouache uh, and the first is that the fact that I'm testing this paper out um, I prefer to test watercolour paper with obviously watercolour uh, I think it gives a truer representation of the paper than it would if I was just to use gouache um, so that's one of the reasons why um, I'm doing it in, in two parts uh, the other reason is that I'm, I'm actually painting this particular scene is because um, like I say, it's one that I've done quite a few times and I know it quite well, I know basically the colours that I'm going to use and um, it's not too tricky for me to draw and everything. And I thought it would be a good one to do because it's a scene that I'm familiar with um, and I'm using paper and paints that I'm not familiar with so I thought well, I'll give myself a bit of a chance and uh, choose a scene that I know how to paint. Well I say I know how to paint it, I mean I'm... <laughs> I don't know how to paint it, I'm just familiar with it, let's say. Um, and that'll give me you know, every best possible chance uh, of getting a decent result. Now if you do fancy painting along with this one, um, I think there's four videos to accompany this over on my Patreon channel, um, all in real time. Um, I think the full video series is, oh, I think it, well, it's over two hours long, I think, um, to paint this one. And also, as well, um, something else that you've not seen on YouTube, um, I've started a new series over on Patreon called Sketchbook Corner. And it's basically for people that haven't got a lot of time um, to participate in the big, you know, 30 hour long drawings and um, all that kind of thing. And it's for beginners as well. I mean, these sketches that I do, they're sort of all under two hours, um, some of them are only half an hour long. Very simple, quick and easy sketches and beginner's drawings and I've started to post two of those a month um, over on Patreon along with all the other content as well, you know, the vlogs, the full on um, drawing lessons, um, the watercolours, all that kind of stuff. Um, and a couple of people asked as well about the John Constable drawing that um, I'm actually doing. Um, they wanted to know if um, I'd uh, given up on it. No, I haven't given up on it. Um, I know it's taken a long time, but it's probably one of the longest, most involved projects that I've ever done. Um, I'm doing it on an A3 size piece of paper, and it's full of detail. <laughs> Every inch of it, you know, is just covered in detail. And um, I'm doing it as a background pro project uh, for Patreon because I can't do it all in one go because of all the other commitments that I've got on Patreon like I've just mentioned um, you know the sketchbook corner series that I'm doing the other drawings that I'm doing all the tips and techniques videos and vlogs 
and watercolours, all that kind of stuff um, that I'm doing. I can't just sit down and just do this in one go. It's going to take me several months to do it. Um, I'm quite a way through it. I mean, I'm nearly finished. Um, and in fact, I've just posted, I think it was nine videos um, of the drawing already, you know, the, the drawing lesson already. And I think I've got about another nine videos to post of it as well. So there'll probably be 18 videos uh, of that going up in the next couple of months. Um, but I estimate this one to, to take me at least another month to do, um, you know, with all the commitments I've got. And it'll probably be like a 25 video um, video series, so it's going to be a big long one, this one. I don't think people realise just how much content I'm actually posting over on Patreon. Um, when I look down on the month to month posts that I make, and I look at the numbers there, um, some of them are in the 30s, you know, 30 posts a month. Most of them videos, others are reference photos, vlogs, um, all that kind of stuff, but most of them are videos and um, you know content relating to art and everything. Um, I'm sort of averaging out like between 20 and 30 videos um, a month, every month. So there's a lot of content going um, on Patreon, and you only really see you know the odd little snippet here on YouTube. Um, so you know if you're looking to learn to draw and paint. Um, and follow along with some of the projects that I do. If you go over to Patreon and check it out, it's only $4 a month to access everything. Um, you'll get access to hundreds of videos, um, full on drawing projects, painting projects, everything just for $4 a month. It's a real bargain and it's definitely worth um, taking a look at in my opinion. Well, obviously I'd say that because I'm biased, aren't I? But no, in my opinion, I mean, if I wasn't running Patreon, um, and I was a beginner, one, a beginner wanting to learn to draw and paint, I'd certainly be checking out uh, options like that at those sorts of prices and for that amount of content as well. And it's all good quality content. And it'd be great to see you over there. Okay. Right, so you, you probably noticed that the palette has changed now in the video. Uh, I'm now using the gouache paints. And uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments section actually uh, if you think this painting looks better uh, before or with the gouache paints on them. Uh, I'd be interested to uh, hear your thoughts on that. Personally, I like the look of the gouache on this one. Um, I wonder if you can tell just by looking. Here's, here's a little test for you then. I'm not going to tell you what these new paints are that I'm testing, uh, you know, what brand they are, but can you tell if they're artist or student quality paints. I guess that's a bit tricky really, isn't it, to tell. I guess if I'd have just done a gouache painting on its own, it probably would have been um, a lot easier to tell. But just looking at the pigments there on the palette and the way that um, they're transforming the watercolour, uh, what do you think? Student quality or artist quality? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. All will be revealed in the next video, I promise. That's when I'm going to be doing the, uh, the review video um, of the paper and the paints. Okay, so we're just about at the end of the video now. So what I'll do, I'll let you watch the rest of the video in peace. And I'll just let the video play out to a piece of music for you. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, share hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. Um, it really helps me out. Okay, so thanks very much. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.